To make Senegalese marfe fish, first wash your hands. Then spoon peanut butter into a jug of warm water. Give it a stir, then put to one side. Remember to make sure that nobody eating this is allergic to peanuts. Add tomato puree to a casserole dish, then push and pull apart a yellow pepper. Remove the core and seeds, tear it into small pieces and add to the dish. Spoon in dried chili flakes and dried mixed herbs. Now make sure you don't get spices in your eyes, it can be very painful. Ask a grown-up to peel and chop sweet potato. Add it to the dish and give it a good stir. Carefully cut a V-shape in four savoy cabbage leaves to remove the stalks. Tear them into pieces and add to the pot. Then give it another stir. Ask a grown-up to help you check mackerel fillets for bones. Then carefully cut them into small pieces. Make sure the mackerel is kept in the fridge until you use it. Add to the pot and don't forget to wash your hands after touching raw fish. Peel the skin off two garlic cloves and pop them into a plastic food bag. If you find this tricky, ask a grown-up to help you. Now carefully cut the ends off two long shallots, peel the skin off and add to the bag. Then give it a good bash with a rolling pin. Bash it, bash it! Don't forget you can wash the bag out to use it again. Add the mashed garlic and shallots to the pot. Give the peanut mixture another stir. Pour it into the pot. And you've guessed it. <laughs> mix it, mix it, mix it. Then just pop on the lid and ask a grown-up to put it in the oven for you. When the Senegalese marfe fish is cooked and slightly cooled, it's ready to eat and looks wonderful with fresh coriander sprinkled on top for extra flavour and decoration. Yummy! This is a My World Kitchen Green recipe that can be eaten often. <laughs>